Here in Vienna, two-thirds of its citizens live in subsidised social housing. But in the UK, less than one in ten live in a council house. And not only that, the quality and style is simply out of this world. So is this what you think of when you think of council housing? This is Alt Erler, a social housing estate on the outskirts of Vienna. It may look like tough, brutalist architecture, but actually it's humane, caring design of the highest order. What happens in and around these pioneering buildings is nothing short of breathtaking. Oh, wow. Look at that. They've even got an indoor swimming pool as well. They have nurseries, schools and tennis courts all conveniently on site. I can't quite believe this. This is about long-term thinking, allowing people to put down roots, giving them stability. I mean, just imagine if I proposed a high-density council housing estate with loads of swimming pools, indoor and outdoor, clubs, play spaces. I'd be left out of town because everybody would say you couldn't do that. Or worse still, they'd say that the state couldn't afford it. Well, what price are we going to put on people's lives, the built environment and the way that we live in our country? With 10,000 residents, Alt Erler has the highest density living in Vienna. But you'd never guess that from the peaceful atmosphere. Monica. Hi. Hi, so nice to see you. Monica pays the equivalent of £600 a month rent for her flat. Back in Harlow, temporary accommodation can give you a quarter of the size for almost the same rent. Does the open plan work for you? Yeah, absolutely. So you've got workspace, a workspace couple yeah. of computers. I mean, that's proper office, that. Look at that, it's yeah, really good. for my studies. Yeah, and then you've got good. a decent seating area, nice little dining area. So you can have... No matter where you are, you get the view as well. Exactly. Which is fabulous. And with the Viennese having such secure tenancies, there's little temptation to buy. So Monica has no stress of being moved on, which is handy, as her dad, Heinz, lives in the block next door. How long have you lived here? 40 years. 40 years? 40 years. Amazing. Yes, yes. Why is this place so special? Because we have everything here. Everything we need. We have 15 uh, physicians, doctors. We have all the, all the shops. Groceries, truck stores. Four everything. schools. Four schools. And you so have you your have own everything. TV channel. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So That's if the there's any pottery classes tonight, we send it and we inform the people, OK, tonight is pottery class. That's so cool. It feels to me like it's, a, it's an amazing hotel. It is. A yeah. five-star hotel. The swimming pool is always clean. It's always ready to use. The sauna is always ready to use. I would live here in a second, in a heartbeat. In Britain, we have a kind of negative stigma around council housing, government housing. Do you have that here? Uh, what is the difference if I own this, this flat or if I rent this yeah. flat? Tell it to me. What is the difference? Why should I buy this flat? Why? The difference in the UK is that people don't feel stable. They feel like they could get moved on and moved on and moved on by landlords. Do you feel like you have stability here, renting? Yeah. Absolutely. It's the political system. If they disturb this kind of stability, they wouldn't be the leader of this country anymore. Yeah. That's the difference. Just like us, Vienna started building social housing a hundred years ago. But unlike the UK, it never stopped. Austria has a higher rate of tax than the UK, but its social care is one of the best in the world. The city builds 7,000 social apartments each year, more than the whole of England, which has a population 30 times the size.